Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro HD tutorial. Now this tutorial we're going to be learning about the game loop. Now I know you guys are probably saying or like pulling your hair out and are probably like I thought these were game tutorials where the graphics, where the sprites and everything. Well those are coming soon, don't worry about that. But before you actually get into graphics and all that cool stuff, then you have to actually understand how a program works. And you have to make a fully functional program before you can even incorporate graphics. If you incorporate graphics but don't know how to put them in properly, or don't know how to handle them, or don't know where to put them in your program, then those graphics are useless. You're just going to display them on the screen and be like, oh, hey, cool, there's a graphic. Wow, there's my sprite. How do I move it? How do I do this? So, I'm laying down the foundations first. So then when you get into the graphics, you can do the coolest things with your graphics. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So, if we go to our include, uh, the only thing I've included is the string class. And, uh, I just, for my colors, I just uh, put I erased everything and I created my own electric blue color. This remains the same. Uh, the close button. This is from the close button tutorials. Everything's the same. Uh, make sure you have everything here, especially the keyboard, because we're using a function in the keyboard that we really need. Uh, everything's the same from the close button um, tutorials, but I added lock variable. This is probably not needed, but I just added that there in case you want it. And all you do in the parameters is just put the actual variable name that you created at the top. And you already know what this does from my earlier tutorial. If not, then go back to the close button tutorial. Now these things are new here. I've added three new variables. Um, and notice I comment my code just to make it uh just to make the program cleaner so right here I should put Allegro initialize oh my bad lies functions now the three functions I've added are counter it's integer and I've set it default to zero you can name it whatever you want but make sure you set it to zero um, basically what this is gonna do is gonna be scrolling through every single letter that we have in this string uh, we um, using the string class I made a variable called word right and I never put using um, namespace um, std at the top of my program so what I have to do is put std colon colon to indicate that it's a part of the std namespace um, this is just this is optional I prefer to do it this way so I'll do it this way um, and in your word you can put what is equal to anything you want you can put a sentence a word whatever you want to put in there now we're going to do another string called draw and we're going to make it a null string so to do that we'll put nothing we'll just put two quotation marks right beside each other make sure they're not spaced out so um, loading the fonts the same as the last tutorial and now we finally get into the game loop now just to make just to mention there should only be one game loop in every single program you create if you feel the need to create more than one game loop then there is a flaw in your design algorithm and you need to PM me or comment below so I can help you redesign your program so that you could do it with one game loop right you might have um, more than one while loop within the game loop but there should be only one game loop so um, once we get into frames per second and such which should be in the next video because if you don't have frames per second then your games could run faster on other computers and slower on other computers and that's not fair right so the reason they have um, the frames per second is to regulate that your game will run the same on every single computer system console anything that you play that's why the games out there when they have multiplayer support and such um, they do it so then every game, no matter how fast your processing unit is, it'll run at the same speed unless you do a hack or something which will alter your FPS. But the general, generally everybody's will run the same no matter the processing power of your PC. But that's for the next tutorial. 
So um, with the FPS, we'll normally have an update loop and a draw loop. Uh, no, uh, we'll have a, a separate while loop for um, update, and then the draw will, will remain in the actual uh, game loop. And you'll learn more about that in the frames per second tutorial and why we have to update, have a while loop for the update functions. Anyways, in the update um, section, we use a draw string and we add one letter from the word string each time it loops. So the first time through, it adds um, it adds C to our draw string. The next time it adds O, D, then I, and, um, then N, then G until it gets the whole word, right? And then eventually it will spell out coding made easy. And each time we want to add increment counter by one. Now this is basically saying that when it reaches the end of the word, then we want to close the window. Simple enough. The reason why it says subtract one here from the word length is that with strings in C++, um, Y is not the end of the string. There's a kind of invisible thing there at the end of it, basically stating that it's the end of the string. So if we want to find the real end of the string, then we have to do the length of the word subtract, the length of the string name subtract one. So now let's go to our draw section. Everything's um, the same from our last tutorial. Um, we're going to draw to the center. Uh, so our buffer is the screen. We're using our custom font that we loaded. And then a thing here is that we have to... The, um, Allegro was initially designed for the C programming language, not C++. So some so a lot so the functions basically rely on C type code rather than C++ code. Since C um so in basically in this um it it can't recognize C++ strings. So basically we have to put draw which is our string name dot C underscore string to change it to an actual C string rather than a C++ string. So an Allegro will know exactly what to write to the screen. Right here for our s-coordinate, we're putting it um, screen width divided by 2, which is um, the center, and screen height divided by 2, which is with the center point of the screen and the y-axis. Um, this is the custom color I created up top, and we don't want any background color. And then we have some new things down here. So I'm saying if the window is n um, not closed, so if, so if it's supposed to be running, then we set rest to 200, and if the window is to be closed, then we set rest to 2000. Now you might be wondering, what is rest? Well, rest basically pauses the program for the amount of milliseconds that you posted over here. And you're going to be using rest a lot. Because if you use, um, basically, if you don't use rest, then your program may run too fast. So resting for a short amount of milliseconds will regulate your program to run at a moderate, a moderate pace. So right now, um, when it's running through the program, we want it to um, pause for 200 milliseconds each time it loops through the program. Just to note that 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. And then when it reaches the, when close window equals true, so it reaches the end of the program, we want to rest for 2,000 milliseconds. We want to rest for two seconds to actually view the word that we've actually displayed and then we want to exit the actual game loop. Now the last but not least is that we have clear underscore bitmap and you will use this in every single Allegro program you use um, or any uh, in any other API or graphics app you lose you will have to clear the current bitmap that you're drawing to. Um, if not then it will basically overlap what it drew before clear bitmap basically clears the screen of everything that you drew on the screen from the last um, draw command and then it will basically give you a fresh thing to draw th um, draw to and you'll understand more about this because I will I'll show you how it runs with it and how it runs without it but basically you need this here your program won't run um, properly and below we have destroy font uh, so uh, make sure you do this so you will prevent um, memory leaks and just to exit Allegro and everything else is the same. So if I were to run through this program, uh, you will get this. 
I don't know if it's gonna run choppy on your computer screen but basically it individually adds one letter to it each time through the loop and it eventually spells coding made easy now if I run this um if I run this without clear bitmap comment that out watch what happens it overlaps it every single time because it hasn't cleared it it's not a fr it's not drawing to a fresh screen so every single time it draws it overlaps it w one over the other and then it looks smudged so you need to clear the bitmap in every single game you create and you might be wondering why would I destroy the whole screen when I'm making games it would clear the map and it would clear everything well you will see how to how clearing bitmap can even work when you have maps and players and everything on the screen okay so that's it for this tutorial just learning a bit about the game loop um and hope you enjoy this the next tutorial will be on frames per second and then you will get into graphics and moving your graphics across the screen and such so thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a lot and remember to feedback give your feedback below Thanks for watching and bye.